video we've got a fun reloading project and we are going to load up some 9 millimeter 90 grain XTP bullets from Hornady. We will be using power pistol powder, Winchester small pistol primers, and I don't recommend you do this but I have my Hornady 11th edition and we're going right out to the max charge of 7.2 grains on these. I want to see how fast I can get these bullets. Now I've been doing a lot of work with these XTP bullets and if you're gonna try to get out to the 7.2 grains I definitely recommend you work your way up. You do not want to do what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Now I've already got 50 pieces of brass resized and primed. That is what they look like because I am actually working on three different reloads today. So I got quite a bit of the brass primed up and ready to go. Let me show you what one of these bullets looks like. There's your base. All right, let's hit the reload bench, get these loaded up. We'll come back and look at the cartridge, and then we're going to head out to the range and test them out. turned out turned out really good they're all within 1.070 and 1.075 and they all passed case check let's head out to the range all right we got five rounds of our 90 grain xtps loaded up we got a target set up down there at 10 yards i got a little paster target on a uspsa target cameras down there rolling i do have the chrono in front of me but it's super windy here today so that target down there is moving a little bit i don't know how good of groups we're going to be able to get we're just going to have to deal with what we got here so Let's shoot a five shot group. I'll call off the speeds as we go through the chrono. 1524. Fourteen seventy nine. Got a duplicate of fourteen seventy nine. And a 1511. And a 1463. And it looks like we got a really good group. And them things are fast. All right, there's our group. They're all probably less than an inch, and they pretty much all ended up touching each other. Really nice group. All right, this time we got our 90 grain Hornady XTP loaded up. Let's capture a bullet. Wow.
right, so here is the carnage after getting hit with that 90 grain bullet. And I'm going to throw this off of here. You can see right here we went into the second jug, but we did not come out the back side of that jug. So let me get this dumped out and we'll see if the bullet's in here. All right, here's what we pulled out of the jug. This broke off into two pieces. Let's head back to the bench and talk about it. All right, we're back from the range and those were some pretty interesting results. Our bullet is actually in two complete pieces here. Let's get a weight on this. See how much we lost. We lost quite a bit. So we're at 72.7 grains, 72.6. And we started out with 90.5. All right, let's get some measurements here. So we've got our 90 grain bullet, and we're at 0.352. Now let's grab this piece and we're at 0.536, pretty nasty expansion there, 0.356 again. Now let's take this and we're at 0.510, there's our furthest point at 0.551. Point five three nine. Well, that was definitely a super fun video. And speaking of super, these are some super fast rounds and very accurate. I was quite impressed with these. Had a lot of fun with this one. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.